Kilty now out at North Carolina. Predominantly coached by Coleman Scott, Jameel Kelly, Velty, representing the Beaver Dam RTC. Head coach Nate Angle in her corner. Another Missouri Valley graduate. A lot of motion from Velti here early. Velti obviously pound for pound strong. I, I wrestled her before. She does have explosive double legs. Looking for that two on one. And passive offered and confirmed on Kilty. Just her first. continuing to control center, so Kilty, another passivity. Her second, she will have 30 seconds to score now. She has been able to do so. Kilty will earn a point. Kilty's really hard to move, so that 30 seconds is a lot of pressure, so. Looking for that two-on-one, but really unable to move Velti at this time. And there's the shot clock ends a point for Velti. Velty getting hit for passivity. Less than a minute to go. Haven't really seen a committed attack from either wrestler. Just as I say that, Kilty looks for Velty's right leg. Just a lot of hard hand fighting here in the first so far. I think because both are very hard to move, they have really strong position. It's going to be a really great setup and a, and a good calculated attack. I like where Kilty is going with the push out idea because that may be her opportunity to chip away and get some points on the board. And typically the official does have to choose the other wrestler if there are no points, no technical points on the board. So as a former official, I, we were instructed, you know, to try to get the, the match action going. You know, when, when competitors are familiar with each other, sometimes we see these close matches. Yep, and not just familiar, I know there's a, a big mutual respect um, between both of these women. They know how costly an errant shot can be. When you're wrestling someone so good defensively, when it's so hard to score on, you don't want to put yourself in a hole. Yes, and one of the mindset principles, you know, being afraid to make mistakes. You know, we don't want to, we want to minimize our mistakes, but we also don't want to prevent ourselves from from going for it, for taking calculated risk. Right. Nice. Sort of a scoop single there by Velti. Now taking Kilty to the edge. Switches off to a double. Not going to finish the takedown, but she will get one point on the step out. Yeah, it was a nice little throw by low single type maneuver. And just taking that calculated risk, put her in a position to put at least one point on the board.
good two-on-one defense. I haven't seen that defense yet, and it is the it is the one that I would go to as well, is peeling that top hand. Yep, for sure. Kilty picking up the hand fight pace, a lot of movement, but not a lot of committed attacks. Really just can't. Oh. I think as the match progresses, where the originally strong position may be looking a little bit more wobbly because, you know, fatigue sets in and, and that's when we're able to put our pressure on our opponents and get them out of position and get them out of stance. And I, I, I think that is something Kilty's working on right there. She is moving Velti a lot more. And is very close it's a very close match. I mean she is one takedown away from from being it being in her favor. Back to that snatch single is Velti. This time Kilty able to sprawl. And are we going to get grounded or one point here? And one point is offered, but it's going to be white paddled, grounded, the official call. Velty being smart, not coming up in her position right there. A lot of wrestlers would have jumped back up and tried to get right back out there, but her knowing where she is in, in, in the mat space and not wanting to come to her feet and lose that one point. Smart wrestling. Velti working the head, switching to the underhook. Moving Velti all around the map. Yes. Hasn't been able to step her out. Now shoots a high crotch, and that's going to be two points. Kilty takes the lead late. She's making progress. She was working hard in the beginning, and, and she continued to work hard throughout the entire match. And Velti in danger of giving up a fall here. The North Carolina corner wants it. And I think she's obviously going to be a little bit fatigued and it's late it's 14 seconds left i mean confirmed offered and confirmed macy kilty by fall and i said she wasn't taking a whole lot of text but she was constantly hand fighting pulling on the head and i think that really wore velty down absolutely you started to see velty stumble over her feet a little bit as she started and and that's not anybody would be with that type of pressure that kilty was putting on no doubt so a good first period for Velti, but Macy Kilty closes out match one in a big way with a pin. Conditioning a huge factor. Well done for Macy Kilty. So we're going to cut to a replay, take a look at the action. This was in period number two, and that you see the difference there. In, in the first period, Velti was able to finish that attack or earn a step out. There just didn't have the energy. Kilti was able to sprawl and defend. There's the shot, the fall, and the hand raise for Macy Kilti, who takes match one. We are going to take another break, and we will be back with action.